come on, Nottingham's famous for loads of things. Lace, uh, Robin Hood. Well, so why don't you take Liam then? She's got a look of fryer tuck. Guess the chance I haven't got the job yet. So you would rather go with her? Yeah, watch out. Idiot. That's why you still care. Nick, of course I still care. If I didn't care, I wouldn't have such a cob on, would I? About that slapper. Well, I'm staring well clear of her now, aren't I? Yeah, 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 so you keep saying. You're like a scratch record. I spy a wonky tie. Off for your interview? Yeah. I've got everything crossed for you. Come here. Yeah, it's all right, Gail, I'll do it. You look like you've been dragged through edge backwards. It's a choppy fringe, I've done it. Mm. Well, I'm sure your sparkling repartee will impress them. And if it's a lady flirt like mine. <laughs> Mum, you make me sound like a jiggler. Give me a ring as soon as you hear anything. OK. Good luck, love. I see you. What? When are you going to tell her the job's in Sherwood Forest? Well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it, won't I? Now, am I going to get a kiss? Oh, if you can bear it. You've got to get over this, you know. No, Nick, you've got to stop hanging around with your ex-wife. Blimey. Been a while since I heard her out on the street. Must be, what, at least 24 hours ago? <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's her. She's constantly mardy at the minute. Why? Well, she's got it into her head that I'm still in Cleat. I mean, how ridiculous is that? No, Ash, wrong answer. It's really ridiculous. I'm not being funny there, mate, but I've seen what you like with Leanne. Hang on to every word. If Mike Clare was acting like that with another bloke, we did more than spitting feathers. We spitting old bird. You're joking, really? Look, I'm no expert, but I know how to handle sensitive women. All he wants is reassurance that you love him. I tell her that constantly. And evidence. Concrete evidence. So why don't you treat her? I'll tell you what. I'll do you a discount on a couple of meat pies. No, you're all right, thanks. Hey, we're doing a cracking chicken basil savlo at the minute. There's <laughs> not a dinner party in Cheshire without one. No, honestly, mate. I'll tell you what, you're giving me super sauce. This is my house. You give me an artifact. Morning, Vera. Oh, you're an angel. Francesca, do you mind telling me what's going on? Oh, it's a Frankie short for Francesca. I assumed it were Francis. I had an Auntie Francis. She had a wandering eye. Downy doll, this is Vera, our new housekeeper. And this is your shirt for work. You want to remember what side your bread's buttered on. Cheers. Yeah. He's got a nice set of pins, hasn't he? Do you want to start in the kitchen today, doll? There's a few dirty oh. plates from last oh. night. <laughs> Who did you have round? Man United? She cracks me up. Yeah. I meant to say, I came looking for you yesterday. Oh, Guess yeah. where Mike said you was? Out with my bird. House hunting. Yeah, well, I wanted it to be a surprise. Did you now? Hmm. Vera? I couldn't have a cup of tea, could I? How can you make so much mess with a takeaway? Oh, shut up. Staff should be seen and not heard. <laughs> I'd better put this on. Oh, hey. Do you take sugar off again? Nah. Sweet enough, are you? Hopefully. <laughs> Janice, that's disgusting. Hey, I know, it's Bob, in it? <laughs> There you go, Leah, and happy birthday. These are on me, but I'll tell Oh, thanks, Ellie. Oh, Ellie, are you sure, love? Just give me a couple of breakfasts. I've not seen you this afternoon in years. Give over. Hey, well, listen, I'm going to sink a few at Rovers tonight, and you're going to be my guest of honour. Oh, you don't want me, then. I hardly drink. <laughs> you a cheap date, then, aren't you? And I'm not taking no for an answer. Right, then. Not very much. Oh. So what have you got planned, then? I don't know, really. Well, you'll get your present tonight. And then I will be unveiling my new look. Ooh! Uh, toast, please, Ayla. Can you go easy on the marge, though? Yeah, what are you staring at? I've got telly on my head. What's going on with you and Nick? No. I've got a well-trained. You are? Well, I can't tell you, can I? You work with his girlfriend. Well, we're hardly best mates. Well, I'm saying nothing candy. It is candy, isn't it? Dees. It's candies. Only I can't help it if he's all over me like the measles, you know what I'm saying? Go away. But he's engaged. Oh, is he now? Well, you should have seen the card he sent me. Shocking. 
I blushed. Didn't I blush, Jan? Oh, yeah. She went the colour of that. Right. Jinx is on to me, I know I have. I was shouting in the street like a fishwife. Oh, I'll have a good row. I like making up and all. Nick will be fine. He'll put you around to the back of his head and he'll go in there, knock him dead. Didn't help your Gail making out that was the worst hairdresser in the world. Yeah, I thought you said she was good. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah. Hi. Nick. Hi. Ah, oh. uh, you. Oh, what was this? He is bleeding gorgeous. Too young. Is he as well? Oh, Tommy Kit and Nick. <laughs> You're the only girl for me, Marie. I just want you to know that. Oh, bless him. No, nah, I'd love to stop, but I'm going to be late for the interview, so I'll see you later. Hey, okay. See ya. Now, I'm sorry, but he is absolutely gorgeous, darling. <laughs> Can you just rip all his clothes off, Audrey? Uh, I'd get arrested if I did. He's my grandson. <laughs> hey, I'm not really a big Atomic Kitten fan. I'm much cooler than that. <laughs> it's just that the first time me and Nick uh, <clears throat> kissed, the song Hole Again was in the background. Oh, <laughs> me and Danny, our song's Joy Division. Love will tear us apart. He used to love me dancing for him to that. In a mohair boob tube and PVC pants down the tenor and gypsy in Chingford. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, you will never guess who I've just seen in those roles. And you will never guess what Nick has just done for me. Nick? Yeah, aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, look, I saw that Leanne in the cafe. Did you know it was her birthday? I wouldn't know that. Candice, I've just been looking at the book. Now, did you book in Mrs. Risley for four o'clock? Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, well, perm is spelt with an E, my darling. All right. Oh, um, Audrey, I've bought you the Gazette. Emily Bishop's on the front. Oh! Come on, Candice, spell. You can't get away with it that easily. What's that slapper been saying now? She's trouble her. Look, I wasn't going to tell you anything, Maria, but I think you've got a right to know. You might not have known it was her birthday, but Nick sure did. He bought her a card and a right dirty one at that. I don't think you should be saying stuff like that in front of clients. Audrey, tell her! I don't believe this. No, I, I just don't believe it. Oh, great. What have I done now? Oh, I'm going to have her guts for garters. Tower. Oh, Audrey. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to the bus stop. Today's my day for hospital visiting. I'm seeing a little girl who's lost a kidney. Yeah, well, you're going to lose more than that by the time I finish with you. What do you call this? An interview? <gasps> or a malicious pack of two-faced, hypocritical lies? Oh, Audrey, please. Losing your temper achieves nothing. Well, can you blame me? When I read in front-page news that a so-called friend of mine is fighting the fight against the memorial to my dead husband, eh? I'm not alone in any of this. Oh, no, no, you're not, so it says on line five. Look, yes, no, I am not alone in any of this. So at least you can't accuse them of misquoting you, can you? And what's all this? Waste of public money. I mean, who else is in on this? Our truck is not with you, Audrey. No, it's with my owl. It's with the council. Oh. Surely you see that. No, as a matter of fact, Emily, I can't. Well, I'm sorry you've taken this so personally. Oh, yes. Well, the boot would be on the other foot, wouldn't it, if they were erecting a statue to your earnest? But they're not. No. Nor are they planning to spend thousands on it. Oh. Nor are they planning to place it somewhere where ordinary people can't see it. I'll bid you good day. Yes, well, you can bid all you like, Emily Bishop, but I am not having you insulting my half's memory. Do you hear me? Oh. Oh.
magazines? No. Try over there. I'm surprised you're doing manual labour in your condition. I'm not pregnant. It's, it's top of the range and it's a fair price. I mean, I'd keep it like that, wouldn't I? I mean, but you see, the saddle doesn't sue my, my lobsided groin like, you know. Oh, really? Them handlebars have been welded on. Have they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Off a chopper. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> you have to eat three grandkids or something? Oh, I'm getting into shape for me upcoming six of them. <laughs> I do, of course, refer to the end of Pub Bowl's challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course you do, Ernie, of course you do, yes. <laughs> it's a competition open to all the pubs with a very impressive prize. <laughs> oh, I... It's a dinner for two with Linda Lasardi. <laughs> I'm, I'm only joking, Jack. <laughs> well, is there a prize? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Money? Better than that. <laughs> A, a crate of the finest ale. <laughs> the, I'm relegated to a mini paragraph three pages in while Big Mouth Bishop, who they make sound like Mother Teresa, incidentally, gets the whole flipping page. I mean, look, I am shaking now. Look at that. How'd it go? Uh, yeah, really good. Good. Um, your grand's a bit upset. She's not the only one. Why did you send Leanne a birthday card, Nick? Oh, Nick, you didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. Don't lie to me. Candice saw it in the cafe. Well, she must have forged my handwriting, because I didn't send her one. If he says he didn't, Maria, I do believe him. Oh, do you? Yes, well, he certainly doesn't peddle lies like some folks I can mention. All the same, I can understand why Maria's upset. I didn't send her a card. You told me you'd stay away from her. And I have. Look, stick her and Emily Bishop in a great big dinghy and let's push them both out to sea. Ma'am. Look, I'll have it out with her. Next time I see her, I'll make her tell you it's a pile of... Nick! Lies. It better have be lies, Nick, or else she can have you all to herself. And I hope you still fancy her with two black eyes. You new do. Me new don't, you mean. <laughs> oh, Jan, Jan, I asked for it tomorrow to do some already. I've won lots of Oh, no, shut up, moaning and get it down your dog. Right, let's have a look then. <laughs> you look a right dog, Jan. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd look fatter than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a brill for crazy tar, Jan. What's this about me sending you a birthday card? I have the faintest idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, you have. You told Candice. I don't even know who Candice is. You're such a liar. Uh, Janice, back me up. Did I go around telling everybody that he'd sent me a birthday card? Did you? Anyway, don't see why World War II has to break out over it. Three. Leanne, you're causing problems in my relationship. Yeah, you know she's not. Don't give her the power, Nick. Listen, if you want to have a domestic, by all means, go ahead. But would you mind clearing up and do it somewhere else? I'm trying to celebrate my birthday, here. Yeah? <laughs> Big turn out. Look, I've got to take this. Yeah, and take her with you and all. She's an eyesore. Says you. I am sorry to be pedantic, but uh, it is three. What? We've already had World War II. No, 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 that, that, that's brilliant. Yeah, um, I'll give you a, a call first thing Monday then. Okay. Okay, thanks so much. Bye. You got the job? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> well done, Nick. <laughs> it's good news then. Uh, it certainly is. Well, for us anyway. <laughs> Come in. I knew you'd get in. How do you mean for you anywhere? Well, um,. The job's in Nottingham. It's a big commute. Actually, we thought we'd move. Right. Well, 
That's a red wine, please, Shell. Oh, oh, what's that look for? Well, I was just thinking, isn't it amazing how everyone on this street seems to know that I thought I might be up the door? Really? What? He's got nothing to do with me, I swear to God. Here she is, our eyes and ears on the council. Have there been any developments, Deirdre? Well, I have asked around a bit. Oh, you're just like what's it? Hetty Wainthrop. Oh, she does take a good part. Yeah. Anyway, I'm afraid to say that the woman in charge of the fountain project, Mildred Crawshaw, isn't taking your protest very seriously. Oh! Well, that's because she's got her brain in her head. Audrey, hi! <laughs> Look at you. Like a superannuated sex in the city. Oh, and uh, perhaps you should know that uh, Mildred Crawshaw wields a lot of uh, power in that council, so if she's laughing at you, everybody is. Ma'am, let's sit down. Sure. And maybe now we can put pay to your silly little games. Well, maybe you should sit down and shut up. And I am so surprised at you, Rita. Do you know, I never thought you'd stoop so low. But do you know what you all are? Skin flints. This is just a cover-up to prove how tight you are. Well, I'm pleased you're made of money. I didn't realise Alfred left you so well off. Let's not cause a row, ma'am. Do you know, there's a terrible whiff in the air. Oh, yes, I can smell it too, Blanche. Do you know what it is? Betrayal. Fred, oh lad, do you know how to melt this interpub bowling competition? I might have heard mention that licensed Vitlers didn't think anybody'd be interested. Chat was very good in his day, weren't you? I, I, I don't like to blow my own trumpet. But Best so... player in the Mother's Union. Northern Union, yeah. No. Well, what do you about think about it was, it was getting a team together? Who round here will be interested in that? Yes, Audi Love, what can I get? So, what was you talking to that senator about? Hmm. Must be passing the time of day, really. Oh, yeah. She's a bit dull, isn't she? Yeah. I had to prop my eyes open with matchsticks. <laughs> and Jen Arthur's pretty close up. Oh, me out. Mm -hmm. I know you never slept with her, cos uh, you've always had good taste. Exquisite. Mm. I was asking her about the baby and that, and, um... Guess what? What? She ain't even pregnant. No? Has your fish doll? Yeah, never tasted better. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I love you, babe. We proved them all wrong, didn't we? Oh, hi, yeah. I've mended zip on your boots. Oh, Vera. Actually, um, this ain't really the best time. Oh, look, no, me. I'll just shove it in cupboard. Make myself scarce, you know. Oh, fish. It's good for you, that. Yeah. Hey, oh, have a glass of wine, Vera. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, come on, love. We're celebrating. Oh, what are you celebrating? Life, Vera. Life. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll nip out, get another bottle. You keep my missus company, I'll be back in a jiffy. All oh, right. All right. <laughs> oh, buttons up. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Vera. Do you know, I've never celebrated life before. <laughs> Sunita, thanks for keeping you done with the Fuhrer. You're not still banging on about that, are you? And I'm really glad you're not in the... Uh... Have you finished? No, don't be like that, darling. I'm really sorry the way things have turned out. You know what they say, another time, another place. You'd have to be another man as well. I know you don't mean that. Just shove off, Danny. I won't touch you if you're the last man on earth. Sunita, it must have been Liz. She must have heard me gabbing with Charlie. I knew it'd be down to your big gob somewhere down the line. Oh, Sunita. You're a crap friend, do you know that? Now then, which of you dashing young gentlemen are going to sign up for the Weatherfield Interpub Bowls competition? Whenever you're ready, Kieran. <laughs> Jack, bowls is an old man's game. You're having a laugh, aren't you, Jack? Yeah, we're not ready for the knackers yet just yet, Jack. Well, I'm up for it. Well, that's going to do wonders for your street cred, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Giants trying to get together a bowls team. Bowls? I love bowling. I spent most of the 80s blobbing my way around these legs. Blobby Pottison, they used to call me. These days, I suppose, it'd be blobber cropper. <laughs> Blobbing, it's a, a crown green ball in turn. means beating your opponent to nil. <laughs> Any good? Oh, it's all in the wrist action, Jack. Finish him off lovely on the knob. <laughs> Sorry, it's the highest point on the green. Oh. You don't say. <laughs> I'll join your team. <laughs> it's a men's team, love. Oh, I think I missed the bolt on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Put another reel in there, please. 
women's game. <laughs> Why don't you form the, the women's team? Because <laughs> I don't want to watch a lot of old women bending down in public. I'm getting off of that in the house. So we're going to be losing you then, are we, mate? Nottingham's not the end of the world, you know. Might as well be. Well, at least it's not Canada. I suppose. Oh, it's only a couple of hours away, Gail. Now, please, get it in perspective. Well, oh, really, it's it's already. Mm. Oh, breathe in. Oh, have you still got your clothes on? I thought you did stripping in places like this. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. Tell you what, why don't we have a bit of a whip round? I'm sure you could get all of, what, 50p? Do you know what? I'm surprised Nick ended up with such a bitch. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? You make the most of Oglin in while you can, cos he won't be around much longer. <laughs> Why, having an early night? No. We're moving away. To Nottingham. <laughs> make it sound like Beverly Hills. I don't care where it is, as long as it's as far away from you as possible. Ooh, got a lot of fillings there, haven't you? Cheeky, mare. Here we are. <laughs> Oh, love's young dream. Are they? Nothing lasts forever, Jan. I'm going to enjoy this one. Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy ride. 